What I found fascinating about Oscar Wilde was the, the range of the man. And I think the tragedy for him is that because of his arrest, we only see him now through the prism of his downfall. And I came across when researching this book, this collection of Oscar Wilde essays, I came across an account of a dinner that took place in about 1890. And at this dinner were six men sitting around the table. And the six men were Oscar Wilde, who created the myth of Oscar Wilde and the portrait in the attic. Next to him was Arthur Conan Doyle, who created Sherlock Holmes. Next to him was a man called Willie Hornung, who you may not have heard of, but he was the brother-in-law of uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, and he created Raffles, the gentleman cracksman. Next to him was Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker, as you know, went on to create Dracula. Sitting next to him at the same table was Robert Louis Stevenson, who created Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And next to him was seated, the youngest member of the group, we're now back to the person sitting on the other side of Oscar Wilde, J.M. Barry, the young James Barry, who went on to create Peter Pan. What was there in the fog of London that enabled these men to create myths that are available to us now? And that fascinates me. But the reason I put together this collection of essays, Beautiful and Impossible Things, is this. There are no known recordings of Oscar Wilde speaking. But in his essays, in his journalism, in his reviews, in some of his aphorisms, his phrases and philosophies for the use of the young, Oscar Wilde comes to life again. This is Oscar Wilde in conversation.